It was a nice place. It was very local with nice uh, beers and cheap ice cream. As for the Sunday ice cream. Good morning from day 119 and uh, today it's supposed to be a beautiful day. We are uh, the Goat Rocks Wilderness and today we will go to Old Snowy Mountain and go over a nice edge. Uh, I hope we can show you guys what that is and um, the weather will be decent because there's still a lot of smoke in the, in the sky. It's currently 6.50, we left at 6.30. Uh, it's pretty chilly up here, but we've got a big uphill ahead of us. That means it's not too bad that it's kind of cold right now. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of stiff from yesterday. It was kind of a big day, so I hope today goes well. So we have a lot of elevation again. Uh, but I'm looking forward to town at the end of the day. Uh, so it's a good motivator. Very sad. We had hoped to see something. <laughs> something. That's all snowy. But since it's all, you know, smoke down there, as you can see, there's no views. So we decided not to go on it. No, it's like a point is up and down right now. I would have, I would have done it if there was, uh, if there was no smoke. Yeah, we were planning on it. Yeah. Disappointing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still cool, but it could have been so much cooler, you know. We wanted to take uh, the PCT route instead of the alternate on snow, Old Snowy Mountain. Because we decided that looking at smoke from a higher elevation is not more interesting than lower elevations. Right? Uh huh. But now, if I can show you this real quick, there's snow, like right here, up in front. That's easy, but there's more snow halfway. And that was super sketchy, so we had to go all the way back. So we did extra miles because we wanted to not do extra miles. And now we have to do the extra miles anyway <laughs> because there's probably no snow. This yep. day, this day is already fucked. Yep. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm looking forward to town. Let's let's make more miles. Here we are on the knife's edge. There in the distance. Oh my! I don't know if I can find it. I think you can see it a little bit. That's the tip of Mount Rainier. Yep. We 
just came down from that. We both have a sore throat and headaches and we don't have views because of the smoke. It's all because of the smoke. And uh, we're not sure because the more north we go, the more smoke there will be thanks to uh, the fires in, uh, in Canada. Um, so either the wind has to change or we have to change our plans because hiking in this just sucks. Uh, also, I don't want to mess with my health. Hiking in this in this smoke is just not good. And I'd rather come back later when the conditions are not uh, damaging for my health than that I push it, whatever the cost. And, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever sickness you can get from breathing smoke. It's just all ashes in the air. You can almost taste it. It's not fun. It's not good. It's not fun. What a beautiful water source. And look, we make a friend. Just came from there. I think you can see Kevin coming up. And then I'll zoom out a little bit. I'm standing on the point where we would have a beautiful view of Mount Rainier. But I guess you guys know. Oh wow, Mount Rainier. Beautiful. Yes, I'm almost fainting because of the lack of oxygen. Oh, <laughs> it's such a pity. Couldn't see Rainier, but that's the Shoe Lake. And it uh, could be called Horseshoe because, you know, it's a U. But it's an alternate route for the PCT. So if you're interested, it looks pretty. We didn't take it because we just went on the PCT. It's cool. There we go. How cool would it be if it worked? Take a lot of money, I pay a lot of money to fly this thing. Last miles of the day, walking up to the parking lot. He's zooming. Hope we can get a quick hitch because we don't want to be here waiting for a long time. What does he do? His man. First friggin' car. Here we go. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you're not lucky. Welcome to Parkwood. Welcome to the end of uh, day 119. Um, we're here at the Parkwood Inn all clean and fresh going out to uh eat and grab a well we don't know where yet uh we've been uh, very devastated by the smoke um i have uh, personally i have two things on my uh priority list i would call it the for this trail that's one being in good health and trying to maintain it as good as possible and two enjoying the nature the views uh enjoying being out here on trail and uh both of those principles are being well demolished right now because it's a uh, pretty dense smoke and the air quality index is uh, is pretty high which is not a good sign. And uh, we've been feeling a little bit under the weather a couple of last couple of days. We have a runny nose, headaches, sore throat, stuff like that. And um, we didn't see a thing. We went to Goth Rocks Wilderness and we uh, 
Well, we saw some of it, but it could have been so much better. We didn't even see Mount Rainier, which is supposed to be like a beautiful uh, panoramic view while you hike there. Um, so we're not sure yet. If this doesn't clear out, we are probably not hiking out to Snoqualmie Pass. Um, so, but we have to see how it goes. Maybe it's better tomorrow, who knows. We're, we're kind of torn between what to do uh, if it doesn't get better than this. And we know the fires up north in Canada are only spreading. They're, they're uncontrolled wildfires and they're super big. So, um, we still have a little bit of hope, but not a lot. And we're just trying to be realistic too. But, um, it's rough. It's a rough, uh, rough time. Because we didn't come all the way here to throw in the towel uh, right before the end. Yes. Anyhow, it's time for food now, and then we'll go to bed, and we'll see uh, what's gonna happen tomorrow. So, uh, enjoy the food, and good night. Yes, you are... Uh... It was a nice place. It was very local, with nice uh, beers, and cheap ice cream. As for the Sunday ice cream. Beautiful views, eh? Hello. Hello, everyone. As you can see, we are um, back home. We, uh, we left the trail. We would like to tell you something about the choices we made last couple days and uh, what's ahead? Maybe we can start off with telling you where we left the trail and what our reason was to leave the trail or reasons. Um, so what we did, we did the Goat Rock Wilderness. Um, we went to White Pass to Peckwood, stayed the night in the hotel and decided the next morning that we did not want to go back because of the smoke wildfire smoke we did the goat rock wilderness uh, which is supposed to be a beautiful area uh, and it still was don't get me wrong uh, but we couldn't see anything we couldn't see mount rainier um, we couldn't look far far ahead we couldn't look into the valleys we were so disappointed that we and we also did get a lot of uh, well we did get headaches and uh, sore throats so yeah, we didn't feel very well and we decided to go to Portland for a couple days. Um, and that brings us to the next problem because maybe you can explain this better. Uh, if, if we would get off trail, there was no way for us to make it to the Canadian border anymore. Now, because of our visa that, that runs out, because it's only valid for six months, that would cause us to having to skip either section to make it to the Canadian border, we decided to leave this entire section for, for this year for this year yeah. and come back another time. Um, it was a hard decision because we could have gone on for like one and a half weeks longer and not make it to the border <laughs> and be disappointed about missing the last miles uh, or we can just enjoy the entire trail hopefully without wildfire smoke and in a in a different year and we both have big plans to uh to do it and yeah we'd love to do that that beautiful section uh in better conditions and fully enjoy it not like having to push too much because um, we felt like we already missed a lot in goat rocks wilderness it was a beautiful section. Some people claim it's the most beautiful section of the entire trail. And we only saw maybe a third of it because of the smoke. And um, that was very disappointing. Just like Kevin said, we got sick because of the smoke. Like, you know, headaches, sore throat, uh, runny nose, 
uh, just not feeling well in general and um, I don't think it's uh, worth risking your health to uh, to do this um. yeah, and we already knew we wanted to come back for the 130 miles we had to skip so instead of doing a 130 next year or the year after or whatever uh, we have to do about 300 now yes so yeah well uh, gives us a good reason to come back here and do the do the northern Washington section again and we haven't discussed it this yet but we might do Goat Rock Wilderness again and hopefully with better views next time That'd be great um, I can see why it's beautiful we saw some of it like the glaciers and it's the trail itself like what is the, the knives, trail called? Knives Edge Knives Edge trail is beautiful very steep very adventurous I'd say and so we got we got a little bit of it, but we just couldn't see anything, man. <laughs> no, it was, um, I mean, you know, you've seen the, probably the last video where we were kind of disappointed that last day uh, because we had high expectations and all we saw was smoke and all we smelled was smoke. And, yeah. <laughs> well, it was uh, disappointing. It was, yeah. um, we, we expected so much more and, um, and it's sad that we didn't have views because of the smoke because it could have been rainy too but it wasn't rain it was smoke and that makes it so much more uh, sad yeah also because we both care for our health uh, so that was another reason uh, but on the other hand uh, we we had a friend in Portland he was able to pick us up from Peckwood which is like a two and a half three hour drive uh, which made things so much easier for us uh, we this, this video is obviously made a couple days later, so we could hang out in Portland for about four days before going back to uh, the Netherlands. Um, yeah, it was I think we had a great time. We had the, the chance to hang out with a couple local people from Portland, uh, see the city, go bowling, go fishing. Uh, we, so it was we had a great time, but it's we're here for the trail. And we, well, this year was just terribly hard. I could never imagine that it would be so hard to do a through hike on the Pacific Crest Trail. You have to be, you have to be a very good hiker and do it in three months because you only have three months to finish the trail nowadays. <laughs> yeah, and we are we are obviously we were rookies in the start. Right now we're doing great, I'd say. But I'd recommend to watch our first videos <laughs> compared to our last, and yeah. uh, it's it's crazy how big of a change that is. Um, it's just sad that there were so many logistics, so many flip-flopping uh, times and so much snow and cold weather and you know, <laughs> staying in hotels made it financially a challenge. Uh, you know, it's everything combined, it's been like a very rough year and uh, we made it pretty far and I think this is the best decision to, uh, to make, even though it was probably the hardest because we didn't want to quit early, even though it's not very early. We've still been out here for five and a half months or more. We know it was a good decision, even though it's hard sometimes to realize that it's over. It's over for this year. Uh, we go back to the Netherlands now, stay there, find a job probably, get some money, and then, um, and then try it again in the future. And hopefully that's next year. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have like we we know much more about the trail. We know much more about the, um, the, the 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 period where we have when we have to be in Washington State. Um, we started in March. We we thought that was a great idea, but we would never do it again. You know, we learned so much, and uh, the trail never goes away. The trail will always be there, uh, maybe with a little more burn area. Hopefully, hope, hopefully not, but. Yeah. Um, and I still want to do, I don't know about you, we haven't discussed this either, but we know we want to come back for the Washington section, but don't forget we skipped 630 miles in the Sierra. Uh, I'd love to do that too, maybe next year, and then we combine it, or we, yeah. But this, this, this journey isn't over. We still did 1,650 miles, 1,700 miles. Let's say 1,700. Um, which is about 20. which is a through hike on its own honestly so I mean we're very proud of what we did compared to uh, how how 
newbie we were when we started off and uh it's been a great it's been a great journey it's yep been a, it's been a good time and i think we said to each other yesterday or the day before we said to each other if we had the time and we didn't have to go big we would probably just do it again <laughs> start in start in campo and do the whole thing again that's how much fun it was so. start it all over again <laughs> yeah. yeah we had a great time if we could yeah so it's it's not we'd like yeah but hey more videos when we go further right so you guys should be happy with this because that means that this series this series isn't over <laughs> no. there will be more videos there will be more videos but not this year not this year not from the pct when we took our weeks off we went to capitol reef national park and we hiked there for two days stay tuned for that video because it was a beautiful uh that beautiful a, experience that was a capitol reef was too. great right. and uh you know i've had that footage on my phone all this time and you too and um we really want to make a video out, out of that so you guys can see capitol reef which is pretty cool i'm going to spain uh, shortly after visiting the Netherlands I will be there second week of September hopefully and since the weather is still great in Spain I'm trying to do some hiking over there and I'm planning on hiking the Grand Route uh, 221 and it's about 90 miles 90 uh, so it's very short but it's um it's something to look forward to because I think after a trail like the Pacific Crest Trail, you need to have something on the horizon, something to look forward to. So I will try to make some videos about uh, about that Grand Route and um, upload them on this channel. So stay tuned for those videos. Well, we have to hurry up because my uh, I'm flying back in like 20 minutes. I have to go in the car. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice planning. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching all our videos um, or some of them. It's been great to share them with you guys. And we've been seeing the subscriptions going up and all the likes and comments on the video were so nice to read, even though we didn't always have the time to, or cell phone service to uh, react to them. Um, or but, good Wi-Fi, yeah. don't forget that. But we, <laughs> but we read all of them and uh, thank you so much for the support and you know, more to see in the future because um, we're not done traveling thanks again and subscribe and like yes and comment for the algorithm all right thank you guys see you later have a good one